Hey guys, it's Malachi. Today we're going to look into the kaleidoscopic eye in regards to dealing with toxic or pushy people. Um, we find that throughout our lives there's a lot of people that won't demand a lot of things from us and don't like a lot of things that we do and they want it their way or the highways. So uh, I've come up with 12 things that on how to deal with pushy people and get yourself out of being controlled in that way. So the first one, successful people realize that complaining and negative people, uh, they're just bad news because they wallow in their problems and they fixate on everybody else wanting to wallow in that same thing. They want them to join their pity party. So to avoid this, a good way is to start setting boundaries and distance yourself. Um, know that you can only help somebody that wants to be helped so as much as you feel bad for these people and you wish them the best it's good to distance yourself because again you can't help everybody um, you can't do things for everybody they have to first want to do things for themselves number two is learn to pick your own battles so if you find yourself in a lot of chaos and stuff Figure out what's worth it. Is it worth that fight? Is it worth bringing up shit with that person and trying to figure shit out? It, like, or is this a constant bog down? Um, it's knowing that sometimes you got to rise above, and that's okay. It's it's better not to fight about it. It's better to just take that step back because it's for your own sanity. Um, People that are in a very negative, toxic, pushy state of mind, they nothing you say or do is going to help that situation. So it's best to just not react um, and put some distance there again. Number three, don't get stuck on irrational behavior. Um, recognize the behavior that's going on, but know that it's a reflection of what they're going through at that time. And again, distance yourself. Don't get worked up because of how they're acting, because it's just what's going on with them. Um, it has nothing to do with you in particular. So recognize that and take the steps that you need to step back. Um, don't let others work you up. Number four, you uh, no, know that you can't stop other people's actions. And remember that what they're going to do is what they're going to do. And there's not a damn thing you can do about it. So recognize that they're being like that and know that whatever that's their crap again their crap not your crap focus on what you need to focus on stop focusing on so much of what they're focusing on number five start setting boundaries for yourself um, most sell themselves short most of us do like I have, I've done it many times and I've got caught up in the chaos because of many many reasons but Selling yourself short, it it, um, it causes a lot of grief and suffering within the dynamic. Uh, they feel that because you guys have a relationship, whatever it is, family, work, whatever that is, they feel that they can get away with their needs and that you will be there for their rescue. So know that you can't help everybody as much as you want to. If they don't want to do the first steps, no matter what you keep doing, it's not going to change the situation. So set healthy boundaries for yourself and that other person, whoever that person may be, and be firm in, in it because in that you're respecting yourself and you're respecting them. You're, you're showing them that they need to stop that negative behavior, that toxic behavior, if they want to keep continuing on with you. And it might open up their eyes and if it doesn't well you've set up those boundaries so you know that you're on the right track um, again it's your choices are yours theirs are theirs so there's not much you can do um, you can open up the window for recovery but if they don't want to jump through it they can it's like that saying you can lead a horse to water but you can't make them drink same same thing um, so make sure to set those those boundaries and it's for your own sanity really um, number six don't let others limit your joy so emotional intelligent people they let others feel their own way okay they know that feelings they can love somebody 
they can but they're not going to stand in the way of what's going on with that other person and they're not going to let that other person stand in the way of what they love to do so if other people are constantly like oh well that's not good why are you doing that they're like nitpicking into your life and thinking that you should do something because they think it's okay like don't allow that if you want to go do something go do it if you want to experience something experience it like who are they to tell you how to live your life and what is good for you they they have no say um, when it comes down to it and people who don't want to deal with toxicity they realize this so they're not going to allow other people to dictate anything to them because in retrospect it's none of their damn business um, number seven is focus on a solution instead of the problem. So if they're, you're constantly being hit by somebody with a bunch of negative crap, they've got all these problems, try to find a solution. Again, offer it. Offer that solution. If they don't want to take it, then back back away. You've, you've done all that you can do. Sitting there going in circles isn't going to help anybody. Um, it's just going to stress you the hell out and nobody's got time for that. So yeah, back off. Um, number eight is forgive. Forgive negative behaviors, but never forget, you know, everybody has ups and downs and everybody makes mistakes in life. We are only human. Um, so there's going to be times when people are toxic and it doesn't mean that they're a completely toxic person. It just means that they had a moment and so forgive them, but you know, never forget what happened, but don't hold it above them either because that's just bringing your own toxicity. Um, know that Again, people do shitty things. It doesn't make them a shitty person. It just makes their choices shitty. And a lot of times people want to dig themselves out of that. So you got to step back and allow them to go through their process. And when they come back better, then great. If they don't, if they keep bringing that, well then, because you haven't forgotten, again, distance yourself. Number nine, don't engage in negative self-talk. Um, people constantly throughout our lives we set up these unrealistic expectations for ourselves so a way to keep away from the toxicity and rise above it is do not talk negative to yourself know that it is unnecessary unrealistic and self-depleting and that ain't gonna get you anywhere so when all this other negative shit's going on around you don't get bogged down by it don't feel that you're lower than low because of situations. They don't define who you are. They're just the flow of life. And there's going to be good and bad times. So don't knock yourself down. If you make a mistake, get back up, realize you made the mistake, and learn from it. This is where the next one goes to. Learn from your mistakes. <laughs> know that you know in life we all make mistakes we're all learning there's no handbook that tells us how we're supposed to be or how life is supposed to go like people can say what they think um but it doesn't there's no written book like when we're born we don't get this book of how things are going to go in our lives how what choices we should make like we get taught certain things conditioning when we're children of like what not to do and what to do and sometimes those things that we're taught are really good sometimes they're bad but it's learning it's all a learning process and we're gonna go through the highs and lows so learn from your mistakes and adapt to them if you realize that you've done some pretty shitty things we'll change that behavior and move on don't stay harbored in the fact that you've done that because again we're all human we all make mistakes it's, it's just a part of life but it's what we do after that that makes and defines who we are. Um, always have a good support system. So if you're constantly surrounded by negative people and toxicity and just shitty behavior of others, make sure you have a good support system. Make sure you have uplifting people that are like that you look up to or that are just gonna be there to back you up in your corner. Like they know that you're struggling at a moment, but they're not looking down on you they're like they're seeing that light and they're like hey you can do it um you've got this like don't stay stuck find those people and they're all around us you just got to know where to look um having that 
that support system is really good not only for growth but self-esteem because you look at these other people and you're like you know what they're living such great lives this is what I want to do so you start changing those toxic behaviors because you want to strive for better within yourself because you notice if people around you are doing so much better so if they can do it why the hell can't you you know it <laughs> you have nothing but power to get whatever you want in life so surrounding yourself with people that are achieving and are in higher vibration is one step closer to getting to where you want to go like what is it birds of a feather flock together so surround yourself with those positive individuals if you're like at work and dealing with stuff well just know that that's just the moment of where you are right now like that doesn't define your your life and your circle you know but if you look at your circle and there's constantly a bunch of shit talking people that are doing a bunch of shit things know that maybe it's time to back away from that you know like maybe it's time to fly to better things and it's no hard feelings between you and anybody else it's just you want to go onto a different path so do it you know and last but not least is make sure to get enough sleep you know take care of yourself eat healthy sleep sleep well like get as much sleep as you can you may have a busy schedule but sleep is really important so is eating well what you put into your body is what you become also getting enough sleep if you don't you you get what's called sleep hormone like stress hormones and it makes it really hard to manage your emotions productivity creativity it makes just life in general really draining because you're not in a high vibrational state you're lacking and you get can get caught up in really negative emotions and like because of the stress hormone that's being created through your body so when you're not getting enough sleep and you're not eating well what happens is your body is overworking and then your mind starts overworking and then it's in conjunction with each other so it's just this shitty spiral so make sure to get enough sleep drink enough water eat, eat healthy food and watch how your mood changes it's gonna be from night and day like guaranteed you're gonna feel refreshed when you get enough sleep when you're eating really well your body is gonna feel good when you're drinking enough like you're, you're just flowing so make sure to take care of yourself um, it's really the one of the number ones and it all correlates together so once you're taking care of yourself you're not going to put up with a lot of this other shit around you because it's self-care it's noticing what you need and it all kind of trickles down from there so there is 12 ways of how to deal with toxic people and pushy people and I really hope that this video helps you um, I will be back again tomorrow with another video Again, not sure what it'll be, but we'll find out. Um, much love, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.